amazingly and welcome back to another video this time it's not a player review but we will be reviewing the team of the week as you see on the screen the main cards there is Signe, Fabinho, and it, uh, Aspas and much more I'm not gonna lie that doesn't look like the best team of the week but I'm sure there's some few decent cards inside but now let's take them all and see who you want in your red picks tomorrow off of the reserves this card actually looks nice the five star we fit but it's just not getting in anyone's team uh, this guy as a cam, very nice pace, but apart from that, oh wait, apart from that, I mean, look at his 99, 98 back, a decent super sub, but again, no one's using him. But now if we move on to the bench, this is where it starts to get interesting, we've got a Daka, apart from the 3-3, three he's just going to be insane super sub with insane pace, insane finishing, and insane agility, and along with Ikone. Uh, he's got four star skills, which is nice as well, along with the pace, the finishing's low, but the passing and dribbling are very nice. Uh, Dolberg no one cares about, uh, same with him unless you're West Brom, uh, just the, all these cards, weak foot and skill moves are so dead, but this card is actually going to be sick for links to like Rooney or the championship milestones objectives, uh, Reach, he's got great pace, sh great shooting, uh, passing, dribbling, defending and physical, all that. I mean, he's definitely not the greatest card, but he's still a nice card and good links to like Rooney and people like that. And the final one is just, I think, is he from the Bundesliga? Yeah, just a Bundesliga keeper. I don't like these subs and reserves are actually being solid with a few decent super subs or a few, like, even usable players for your team. And now let's take a look at the starting lineup. We got Mateus. I mean, it's just a pretty dead card with dead links. Well, I guess Liga Nos has a couple of players, but it's just a dead card in general. No one really cares about. Uh, another one, Pavard, he's got insane links by Munich and French, but he's just not usable and it's just going to be SPC fodder. And I've got a feeling a few loads of us will pack him on our red picks tomorrow. Uh, next up is Benjamin Mendy, and this card is actually sick. Obviously with the insane links, French left back and Premier League, so he might be a bit overpriced, but his card's still nice. Uh, he's got early cross and speed dribbler, which is decent traits as well. The acceleration's a bit low, but the sprint speed is there. Um, the shooting slow, but we don't really care. Uh, the crossing is very nice along with the short passing and the curve. The agility and balance are quite low, but the rest of the dribbling is very nice, like the reactions and ball control and composure. The defending is nice, the physical is nice. I would definitely uh, play his card centre back because he doesn't really have the acceleration, agility, and balance, but still a nice card and a nice addition to the Premier League. Um, and the final person on the defence is Acuna. He's nowhere near as good as his showdown card. His pace is just too low. Definitely better as a, a CDM with that uh, with that pace not being good enough like a wing back and that agility. I mean, and that balance. Sorry, uh, the passing is insanely nice as well with the 90 crossing, 91 curve, and 84 short passing, 85 vision. He can defend nicely as well with 85 stand tackle and 81 interceptions. And he's got very, very nice stamina. Again, not the greatest of cards. But let's take a look at the midfield. Take a look at the main card of this team of the week. Insigne, 4-4. 5-4, four, four. Four, four, he's absolutely tiny. But it means he'll be nice and agile on the ball. Or like Swift. Or whatever you call it. 4-4. Four, four. Uh, if you look at his in-game, sprint speed's a bit low. But 96 acceleration is insane. Again, the finishing's quite low. But with the long shots and the shot power, it's, he's got nice shooting stats as well. The passing is absolutely insane. With 93 curve, 89 short passing. And 91 vision, and then if we move on to this 95 dribbling, the nice 97 agility and balance combo, and the 97 ball control, 94 dribbling, he's going to feel so swift on the ball with that dribbling and it's high, along with his pace shooting and passing, it's just going to be such a nice fun card to use. Uh, yeah, and I reckon it'll be very underpriced because all his informs are uh, have been uh, previously that he scored. And next up is Fabinho again. I mean. He's been playing well for Liverpool recently, but he's just not usable in FIFA because of the pace. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he's got headliners whose cards way better than this. Uh, so yeah, it's just SBC fodder, but if you're a Liverpool fan, I guess. I mean, even if you're not a Liverpool fan, it'll be a cool player to get in your red picks tomorrow. It's always nice to get an 88 rated info. And now we've got J Links. Well, Beast, he's got four star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, but if we move on to his in games, he's got. Uh, 86 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, which is nice for a cam. Uh, the finishing's a bit low, but the shot power and long shots absolutely insane. The passing's actually really, really nice. The short passing curve and vision all above 87 or, or 87 above. And the dribbling's really nice as well. Off that 92, 93 agility and balance. Uh, 88 balance, um, not 88 balance, 88 reactions, 85 ball control. Really nice dribbling. The fending's not the worst, but it's not the best either. And he can last a full game. 
Well, like, this team works awful, but it's actually a decent card, and it's J-Ling, so I guess we'll all be gassed if we get him our red picks tomorrow. Insane pace, finishing is pretty low, uh, but the shot power and long shots are nice. Uh, the passing is very nice, especially the crossing and the curve. Uh, the dribbling is not great, especially agility and balance. He's actually quite good at defending and got nice physical. I mean, he's best as a sentiment, but he's still got a pretty awful card, I can't lie. Uh, the shooting's not there, the, I can't lie. I said the passing was alright, but it's not really good with the 80 shot pass. Uh, the dribbling's not good, but and he's got 3 star skills, 2 star weak foot, barely usable, and I would definitely stay away from this card. Uh, and if we move on to the front three, we got Muriel, uh, whose card's actually looking really nice. Base stats for the 94 pace, 98 dribbling, and 88 shooting. 4 4 as well, which is nice. And if we move on to his in games, acceleration's not as high as the sprint speed, but it's still nice, and the sprint speed's obviously insane. That shooting's absolutely insane with the attack and position finishing and uh, short power all above 89. He's got insane passing, 87 short passing, 89 co, 88 vision. Uh, I'm pretty sure this card has a road to the final as well. He's absolutely insane. So people who who are, who have that card know how good he is with that insane agility and balance and just all of his dribbling's insane. And this has definitely been the best card so far in this team of the week. Such nice stats all across the board, and you'll be very lucky if you get your red picks tomorrow. Uh, next up, we got Danny Ings again. Three star skills, four star weak foot. It does mean his headliners gets upgraded. To be fair, but I'm not gonna lie. It's it's not the worst card, but if you're trying to get above Div 6, so it's just not going to be good. It's kind of SVC Vodder, but it's kind of not. At the same time, depends what division you're in. But I guess if you're a Southampton fan, then it's a good card to get, but I, I don't really think you want him. And finally, to end the video off, we got Iago Aspas. And um, the three star skills for Solly for ain't the best, but if you move on to his in games, he's actually got some nice ones. The acceleration's a bit low, but the strength speed is nice. The finishing's absolutely insane, along with the passing with 86 shot, passing 87 curve and 86 vision. The agility is nice, the balance is uh, not nice, but the rest of his dreams is absolutely insane. Uh, the heading accuracy is nice, the stamina's on the bit of the low side, but uh, this is probably the one of the worst team of the weeks to be fair. Uh, if I had to go for a top three quickly, uh, I'm going to go Muriel number one. Uh, Insigne number two, to be fair it's been a good week for uh, Syria and either J-Lings or Mendy number three, we'll have to go J-Lings uh, but yeah that's going to be the end of the video, let me know in the comments who you want in your red picks tomorrow and like and subscribe for more FIFA 21 content, have a great day and I'll see you all soon